my name is Gerald Scarf, and uh, I'm a political cartoonist and a stage designer and animator. Anything really to do with the graphic arts I've tried to achieve. I suppose my first break into being a cartoonist was uh, sending a cartoon to Punch, and they accepted it. Up until then, I'd been working in a commercial arts studio, which I absolutely hated. And it seemed to me that the important thing about being an artist was to tell the truth, you know, and not to falsify the world. If anything, an artist should bring new information about the world. So I edged away, finally, from advertising into cartoons. But I didn't quite know how to make a living at it until uh, a magazine called Private Eye started in the 60s. And they gave me the opportunity to draw what I liked. Uh, and they encouraged me to caricature. And that's when it really began then. I think I first discovered the V&A when I was about 17, 18, maybe, as late as that, uh, when I went for art classes there. I used to go once a week uh, with the London School of Printing uh, to draw on the spot. And that was very good discipline. In later years, of course, I went back there many times for information. Uh, I especially found it useful when, um, when I was designing a show or something like that. If there were 18th century costumes in the show, then I could go to the V&A and go to the costume court there and take sketches uh, on the spot of any kind of uh, costume I wanted to. And then it's up to me to make them look my sort of costume rather than the V&A kind of costume or the costume of the period. I mean, there came a point when I was asked to, uh, to design the Nutcracker for the English National Ballet, and um, I didn't want to do the same old po-faced costumes, and I wanted to give it a fresh and new look. And I love colour in productions. I love, I love to put colour on stage. And of course, all, you know, all of this goes back to the V&A where I used to walk around there and get all these ideas together. And I'm, an artist is like a computer, I think, in many ways. All these things go into this whatever it is up here. And hopefully, you know, one can access them later and they come out without even knowing through the pen onto the paper. Well, I take a lot of my inspiration from the V&A, of course, but one of the most exciting pieces I remember as I used to walk through there was this, this man being savaged by a tiger. It really struck my imagination. Maybe it, the ferocity of that particular piece has affected me, no doubt, because it was in the same vein as my work. It's very difficult specifically to say, because I saw Tipu's tiger, uh, I then did this costume. There are occasions when I've taken things from museums like the V&A, and uh, the next thing you see, my work may be on show there. So it's almost like a circular thing. The ideas that I've picked up and produced onto the paper then appear in their own right in, in, the, uh, in the gallery. One of the great things about the V&A is it's, it's like an antique shop. I think anybody, if they went in there, child or man, would find something in some corner of it which would be fascinating. Thank you.